Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look ahead here on OrcleTexHomePage.com as well as the OrcleTexHomePage.com app. And we are looking at the threat for some severe weather across the Arcletex, mainly this evening into tonight. And this is the uh, latest severe weather risk uh, from the Storm Prediction Center. Now, as I'm recording this at around 2.30 this afternoon, we currently have no watches in effect. But again, just to show you that we are looking at, the, again, a uh, severe risk across the region. Uh, notice the reds here that indicates a moderate risk for for uh, pretty much the western half of the area across South Arkansas, much of northwest Louisiana, uh, and deep east Texas looking at an enhanced risk and a little bit uh, slighter amount as you look to the southeastern edge of the Arkansas. So this would be the first time this spring season that we've seen a moderate risk, and you might recall the outbreaks that we've had in terms of severe weather uh, earlier in the year. So again, a moderate risk for most of the area uh, as the line of thunderstorms will make its way across the area during the evening. Here are some of the uh, uh, concerns that we have with uh, this activity moving in. Damaging straight line winds of over 70 miles per hour will be possible. And keep in mind the soils around the area are pretty much saturated, so it's going to be even easier to topple trees than it would be otherwise. Uh, and, that, and we're still looking at the perhaps uh, well above severe weather. Uh, limits in terms of uh, damaging wind. Also could see an a few isolated tornadoes in the individual cells that develop out ahead of the main line here this evening, as well as along the line itself. We could see a, br a, a few brief spin-ups, uh, which often happens with these complexes of thunderstorms. And another issue could be a few areas where we see some large hail. But the biggest concern, probably damaging straight line wind, and we're talking widespread damage uh, with the uh, uh, the scenario that is uh, beginning to pan out. This is what we're looking at here, taking you forward in time. Uh, you can see by 7 p.m. this evening, the line of thunderstorms making its way uh, into southwest Arkansas, arriving in Texarkana, Atlanta, Queen City, Jefferson, uh, down towards the Longview area. Again, any anywhere along this line, we're looking at those winds of 50, 60, 70 miles per hour, but especially in those areas where we see some bowing occurs, where we will have the chance of seeing perhaps even a few gusts upwards of 80 miles per hour will be possible. Keep mind uh, that is EF0 tornado strength so uh, again uh, even though it's straight line winds do not take that um Lightly. We'll see this continue to progress southward by 8 o'clock, arriving in Shreveport. Actually, could be a bit sooner. Again, we're looking at model data here. Um, the line has accelerated somewhat, so we actually could see in Texarkana sometime between 6 and 7 p.m. this evening in Shreveport uh, an hour, maybe a little bit later than that uh, after that here. Uh, so 7 to 8 o'clock in Shreveport, and then we'll see it uh, move uh, east, and then uh, you can see all the heavy rain which will continue into the latter stages of the evening across northwest Louisiana. And then ending uh, over much of the area late tonight. You can see some more thunderstorms redeveloping just toward south and moving across the southern edge of the Arkletex during the uh, overnight hours, the late night hours, where we will uh, still see some very, very heavy rain. So flooding could be an issue. Again, we do have that flash flood watch, which is in effect for all of the Arkletex through at least tonight. As we go through tomorrow, again, much of the day dry, but notice a few scattered showers and thunderstorms developing as we'll be watching uh, more thunderstorms trying to develop late tomorrow. Uh, that activity will slide its way towards the south and east. We'll take a break, and then more thunderstorms try to develop uh, tomorrow night here across southwest Arkansas. That activity will gradually uh, end and wrap up as we head through Wednesday. Uh, right now, the severe weather risk for Wednesday, Wednesday, or I should say, yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday night, uh, is looking um, slight at this point. So we still have the risk of seeing some strong severe thunderstorms again tomorrow night through Wednesday, although not quite as extreme as what we're looking at to tonight. You can see Wednesday night dry conditions in for Thursday. We start the day with uh, dry conditions with just a slight chance for the scattered thunderstorms for Thursday. How much rain is on the way? Again, through uh, 11 p.m., you can see what Futurecast is indicating in terms of rainfall potential with that cluster, a complex of thunderstorms that's going to be moving through. A quick one to three inches of rainfall definitely will be possible. But then we'll have the, those other waves, which will follow in the coming days. You can see all total from now through Thursday, we're looking at anywhere from two to perhaps as much as five, six inches of rainfall cannot be ruled out. As uh, 
one thing to make note this spring futurecast has been been doing very very well with very very heavy rainfall amounts so don't focus too much on location just focus on the fact that anywhere from three to six inches possible from now through Thursday really anywhere across the Arctic text with perhaps the best chances across the north here's the disturbance which is uh, causing the severe weather you can see the uh, orientation of this basically tilted this way that's a negative tilt which tends to uh, lead towards more severe weather put this in the motion you can see that disturbance moves out but notice another disturbance making its way towards the area and this will continue to provide us that chance for the shower and thunderstorm towards the end of the work week and into next weekend and that disturbance will very slowly progress its way across the middle of the country so moral of the story is we're going to continue with the chance of rain for most of the week ahead good shot for the showers and thunderstorms again returning late tomorrow and especially tomorrow night into wednesday morning uh, another uh, round of thunderstorms possible as we go through wednesday evening and then thursday kind of scattered Another pretty good shot for showers and thunderstorms Friday through next weekend. And then we'll hopefully see things begin to wind down for the first of next week. See daytime highs in the week ahead in the low to middle 80s. Overnight lows for the most part in the upper 60s to lower 70s. So that's what we're looking at right now in terms of the outlook for the week ahead. Reminder, we are looking at a, an event where we could see some widespread wind damage across uh, chunks of the Arctic here during the late afternoon and evening hours could arrive in the western edge of the Arctic as soon as uh, five o'clock of this afternoon and uh, of course once that activity moves in and once we get past the uh, early newscast we will be firing up the storm stream uh, to where we can provide you with more severe weather coverage here on arcletexhomepage.com just go to arcletexhomepage.com slash storm dash stream for uh, that coverage once we get again past the early newscast. So that's the way we look right now across the Arctic. Keep the umbrellas handy as our wet weather pattern continues.